Oh, oh, boss! Let me, uh, let me limp down here real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got some explaining and some talking to do. Now we're out in the garage. The garage is pretty much the same. There ain't much to see here, is there, Miller? I mean, other than the regular, I don't yeah, think there's yeah, much Everything's just pretty much normal. But for me, on the other hand, it's not. <laughs> And this video is probably gonna be kind of a more boring video. I just want to explain and talk to you guys. You guys know I've been posting videos to this YouTube channel for the last eight years. It's It's been a minute. But here recently, I've kind of been on a break. We've had just one thing after another go wrong and it's been pretty frustrating. And uh, it's been rough. It has definitely been rough. And I want to explain a few of those things. And I'll definitely go ahead and explain my leg to you guys. The video is not clickbait. This actually happened and you guys might've already seen it or you're about to see it on another video. But I kind of did almost cut my leg off with a chainsaw and we'll explain that here in this video. Miller Doc, what's up? What, what, what do you do here, bro? So I kind of come in a few days of the week, yeah, help yeah. out film. Yeah. I, uh, we, you know, we play pit bike tag, yeah. you know, riding dirt bikes. You have a lot of fun. Best have a lot, of, have yeah. a lot of fun, but yeah, just come in and film, be a part of the videos. It's the main part yeah. of my job. Yes, sir. We're actually looking for new employees. We got a, a host of things we got to talk about in today's little, you know, talking segment. I feel like I haven't really like connected with you guys in a while because uh, for a while we were just trying to post videos one after another and yada, yada, yada and then we tried to change that and shit hit the fan but uh we are looking for more employees i'll have everything you need to know linked in the description for my instagram post explaining everything we actually have some video entries i'll have linked down also if you guys want to do your own video entry to get the job we need a cameraman slash editor and i did a post on instagram but we really only had one serious entry and i'll have that link down in the description as well but if you're looking for a job i mean we're paying anywhere from 30 to 60k just kind of depending we definitely need some more hands we only really got miller here a couple days of the week and then we got tyler in the office is editing, which uh, we definitely need more editing and filming power. So if you guys are looking for a job, if you're in the Charlotte area or you want to move to the Charlotte area, go ahead, read everything in the description and get everything figured out and uh, you could be working here, baby. Seriously, if you got the talent, you need to do... <sighs> About time for a new camera lens. But seriously, if you got the talent, you need to do it because it's great paying. You'll meet a lot of people, a lot of big hitters in this kind of like this industry, and we have a good time. We've definitely not had a lot of serious entries, so uh, if you're serious about it and you can do it, better to get to it. Now you're probably wondering, Brayden, okay, okay, you haven't posted but like four videos in the last two weeks, and now you got a cut up in the leg. Let me explain. See if I can uh, get up here on the big Audi, baby. Now, if you guys remember, we started the Deer Club series, and I wanted to make a really high end, great video doing this and so I wanted everything to get done in one shot well we worked on it for about three weeks we did so much work I mean day in and day out just in our, in our spare time we'd go down there and work 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 and uh, we have the first day and the last day footage because everything in between the hard drive crashed three weeks worth of effort into this video and the hard drive crashed we sent it off it's gonna cost like fifteen hundred dollars to get fixed they didn't even fix it they could not fix it we just got news back today about that uh, I actually just switched microphones because we lost two videos due to bad mics that we were filming back to back so we lost videos there. So between hard drives crashing, losing footage from microphones, it's been like five out of the last 10 videos have been demonetized on the channel. And that's kind of been a big de Debbie Downer. And so it actually, you know, it's like, all right, cool. We're not going to make money on this video. Not a big deal. I still want to bring content to you guys, but it's like, all right, you know, we could just take the L or we could wait a day and send it in for a review and see if they approve it. But the problem is we can send it in for a review. And when you send it in for a review, it could be a day, two days, three days before they approve it to be monetized. And YouTube, they've been demonetized and stuff that shouldn't be demonetized. So I'd send it in for review, wait a couple days, and then they'd send it back and it'd be fine. But it just messed up the posting schedule. And uh, without a whole lot of helping hands here, we ain't got videos backed up and lined up for you guys. There's a bunch of problems with the whole being a YouTuber thing. I really wish we had time to explain them all. It's crazy the amount of work and manpower that actually goes into running a channel in this last two weeks has just been not it. Just not it. We filmed some videos. I wasn't happy with them, so we haven't posted them. So I'm kind of holding off on those, but uh, you guys will probably see them soon anyway. I just, I wanted to bring some good content. We're not going to post much. Now, all this being said, it doesn't mean we're going anywhere. And the break to me is basically over. I'm still going to be a little slow because, you know, let's just, you know, let's take a peek at this real quick. The old, the old chainsaw maneuver. I really need to change these bandages and everything, but oh well. Hey, Miller, can you help me? I don't want to see it. Are, are you actually showing it? Yeah. You get demonetized. I don't care. Here we go. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's oh. just uh, oh. ah, let's just take a peek. 
No. Oh yeah, there's actually 11 stitches in there, so that's fun. Can you come hold this? I wanna wrap it back up. I don't wanna look at it. You don't wanna look I at don't it? I wanna look at it, but I'll... I actually need some more Neosporin for this. I can walk, thank God. Not being able to walk was my biggest fear. I got too much shit to do. This was like the stupidest freaking mistake, man. Just rushing. Do you think it'll be healed for Mud Bash? I hope so. Mud Bash is coming up, that'll be fun. Seems like every time, but if you are a new employee and you know, looking for the job, when we go to Fall Bash, don't get drunk. <laughs> Every new employee we've ever had goes to Fall except Bash and gets hammered, except, except for Miller. <laughs> Thank you. And then it's bad. Ugh. I'm scared to death of ripping these stitches out. Miller, I want to take them back and show them, like, explain what happened, but I did explain it in the video. Let's go out there and take a look at it. So, how this actually happened is we were cutting seven trees back down there. You guys probably already know all this. We are cutting some trees back behind where we're putting in a new shop. We've been doing some videos like that that have been taking longer to film because, you know, with, you know, the concrete crew, having them come out, then all this other stuff. It's just kind of been slow to get this uh these videos filmed peter what are you doing hey, not jungle. yeah let's come look at that peter's out here working i'm in deeper than what i think she needs to get a company out here cut all this shit down take the fence with it <laughs> Wait, i just hit it with a brush hog yeah does it look any better yeah no yeah, no. yeah, it does. All right, well, thanks for the positivity. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go ahead and assume we posted this video before this, but in the last video you guys watched, the uh, the, the shop video, we we're cutting some trees back down here. As you guys can tell, we got some rock spread out. We got the pad right over there. It's all looking pretty good, but uh, we we're cutting some trees. I was kind of rushing around with the chainsaw. Let me just uh, show you guys what happened real quick. So when we we're cutting these trees, we actually had the skitter out here, and uh, I told Julius, I was like, hey, come up and push over this tree. Just make sure it falls the right way. Didn't want to get hung up on these trees over here on this row. Well, what he did it's not julius's fault I'm not blaming it on him uh it was my fault for being impatient he came up to side it to do the twist you don't got a lot of power with a skitter when you're twisting like that and it's also not a uh since the whole skitter's doing this it's not just inching forward it's more so doing this and so the skitter moves a whole lot more and when, as he came up i'm like hey julius couldn't hear me hey julius couldn't hear me and in the video hear me go off oh, Okay, whatever. Screw it. Let's just go ahead and cut it. That's where I messed up. Rushing, just getting it done. Just, you know, gotta slow down. I was telling my dad this the other day. He's like, my dad's so, do everything by the book, do everything so cautiously and slowly. And it's just like, I'm just go, go, go. Uh, I admire that about him. Although I have to hear his shit a lot <laughs> whenever we're rushing around doing stuff. But uh, I was just like, ah, oh, screw it. I'll just go ahead and cut it. Let's see. It was one of these two. I thought it was that one. It was this tree. The one so, you cut your leg on? Yeah. So Julius comes up and starts twisting with the bucket like this. And so I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. And I was like, oh shit, I gotta get on the other side well now i'm fully under the bucket cutting 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 and the skitter's right here so it's real close and so when i come out i gotta come out like this and i was ducking to get under the skid steer because he already started twisting to make sure that tree fell right and uh yeah i guess i just tipped my leg lesson learned don't rush with a chainsaw slow down be safe wear eye protection wear protection i don't know if a pair of those cutting pants would have helped or not but it really was just a nick chainsaw is a powerful tool you get cut by one you start to respect it but it's so funny because it's just literally like it was a nudge and when it, when it nudged me i was like there shouldn't have been anything to nudge me right there so i'm like god i hope that wasn't the chainsaw and i look down i'm like yep i've rushed to the house oh i got it covered up immediately i, I looked at it i was like holy shit yeah, i need right. to cover need it stitches. up quick I stitches yeah yo, i need stitches i need stitches oh i gotta get it was more so I was just so pissed. And so I got down and put my shirt on it just to keep really debris out and hopefully keep it from bleeding as bad. So I didn't know how bad it was at the time. But uh, I got to the house quick because when I start losing blood, my blood pressure gets real low and I'll freaking get passed out. You know, I've had stitches before. I've had a dirt bike peg come through my leg right here. 10 stitches for that. I've had a bullet hit this knee. Uh, lost quite a bit of blood with that. Some box cutter bullshit. Lost quite a bit of blood. I always get lightheaded and wheezy. I really don't think it's because of, oh no, I'm losing blood. I think it's more so just... I don't know. I think my I'm body. The same way, dude. If your guts were hanging out, I'd be fine. Yeah, but if it's if it's my guts, I'm passing out too. Yeah, it's just. What but I, I don't think it's like. Uh, I feel like it comes back to blood pressure. Yes. When I got to the hospital, I had super low blood pressure, yeah. but I didn't lose a whole lot of blood, which I always have high blood pressure. I don't know. Sucks you tell me I wasn't here when it happened. Yeah, Peter wasn't here. We sent him to get fuel. Literally was gone for seven minutes, and I get a phone call from Julius. Yeah, Braden cut his leg off. He's going to the hospital. I thought they were messing with me. I get here, no one's yeah. freaking here. I'm like, shit, he actually did it. <laughs> he actually did it. Old peg leg, Braden. But I actually got a guy coming out, Richard, one of my buddies in Charlotte. He's going to come grind all these stumps for me. Leah, what you doing, bud? What you doing, Lemur? What you doing? You got a leg going. Oh, yeah. That feels good, don't it? That feels good. But, yeah, that is how I cut my leg with a chainsaw. Don't rush, boys. Take your time. Wear protection. Wear protection. 90 miles an hour at three inches. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna lay out all these videos, but I figured you guys have already seen this. I just wanted to use that as some clickbait, get you guys here, be able to explain to you guys what everything that's kind of been going on. That golf cart's got a flat tire. That's something else I gotta fix right there. When I say there's a lot to do, just in tires on this property that I gotta maintain, got 114 tires. I did the math the other day. That's just tires. Kind of dumb. Peter actually put in some flagstone, so we got a nice little flagstone trail right here to the gazebo. We put in some new rocks. Oh, 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 oh yeah, let's hit that. Hey, I'm gonna have to tell Peter these rocks aren't too level. <laughs> so that's pretty sweet. If you guys wanna check that out, he uh, he did the video on his channel. Let's go back in the garage into the AC, baby. Anyway, I was wanting to hit the, uh, the off-road scene a lot here coming up, but now with my leg, it'll probably be a week or two before I can actually really rip and ride. I can run the skitter and stuff, so maybe we'll renew the pit bike track. Oh, another thing I was thinking, you know, when I lay in bed, I just get all these thoughts. And I think about all this stuff that I'd love to talk to you guys about. Another thing, man, the freaking mud and community. Like on TikTok? Miller, what you think of the mud community on TikTok? Uh, All the haters, bro. Uh, hey, it's just a big old piss of contest. It's a big old piss of contest. It's just freaking ridiculous, man. Everyone's just always trying to one up another. And it's just, it's so stupid. Like it's really like killed my passion to, to ride because no one can just be them. They're always trying to tear people down. I'm not saying like the haters are getting to me. It's just like the community is just, it's so stupid, ain't it, Miller? It's just, everybody's always trying to be the best and no one's just doing it to do it anymore. No one's just doing it to have fun. But Brady's the best. There's no one better than Brady. <laughs> Brady's the top G. It's kind of killed my uh, my whole off-road spirit to say. And uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot of off-road videos just because it's just like, I don't know. Well, Fall Bash is coming up. Okay. Fall Bash is coming up. Fall Bash is going to be fun. It's like when people actually go to ride at like Fall Bash, everyone's just there to get drunk and have a good time. But then they get home when they're on TikTok. Oh my gosh. Keyboard, Keyboard warriors. warriors, man. Like, dude, just have a good time. Damn. Are these your glasses, Miller? They're a little shot. They're broke. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you not notice that? I don't, I don't make you don't feel that on your nose? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it looks like I'm going to Ray-Bans after this. <laughs> The dirt bike stuff's really fun, but you know, I can't ride dirt bikes too much right now. Can't can't risk pulling stitches. Hunting season is coming up, so I'm stoked about that. We'll be bringing you guys a bunch of hunting content. I ordered a bunch of stuff and you know how it goes. It's been like a month since I ordered it and it's finally coming in this week sometime. But like I was saying, if you guys were looking for a job, we really need the extra hands. We really need the extra help. <laughs> I would love to get back on the pit wheelers and pit bikes. You guys seem to absolutely love that style of content. So uh, we'll be bringing that stuff back here soon. You know, as soon as I can ride. But stitches should be out in like 10 days. So uh, hopefully not too much longer. You cut the close to mud bash. You said what? You be cut the close to mud bash getting mud in those freaking wounds, yeah, dude. Sadly. I'm trying to be watertight at mud bash. Mm, I'm gonna have to wear my protection. Always wear your protection. The old gator waders, baby. The protection, son. But like I said, I just wanted to take 10, 15 minutes to come on here and talk to you guys about some stuff. It almost makes me want to start a podcast just to like really, really talk to you guys because we get so used to just, you know, making these videos and just absolutely grinding and day in and day out trying to produce these videos. We never have time to really slow down and talk deeply about stuff. But uh, I don't know, moto vlogs, just like moto vlogs, just me out there ripping in the swamp, just talking about stuff, kind of like the whole mud community drama, all the, the bullshit people create. Is that something you guys would like to see? Something different. That's more so sort of like how I started back in the day, just a GoPro, myself, and something to ride and circles around. <laughs> So if you guys would, see, would like to see that, hit the thumbs up button. But uh, we're coming back. I just, I really wanted to make this video to explain some things. And also biggest part of this thing, the biggest takeaway is if you're looking for a job, we're hiring, we need some help, we need some workers, make a video. I say this time and time again, whenever I do this, a whole not a lot of people are gonna take the time to actually do a good video to get the job. And if you don't take the time, you're not gonna get it. We might have one or two people that actually produce a good video that I would hire and bring out here. Again, if you're wanting to get in this style of work, this is the best way to do it. Miller, what were you before you started? Just a freelance photographer. Yeah, now look at you. Working for the big dogs. Looking for- Work for Haley, work for me. Oh yeah, meeting some You started people. your own channel, you're pulling money from that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a good opportunity. Oh really yeah. Is. Christian, he came, he made a name for himself. He, uh, he's <laughs> a top G now. Shout out Christian. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> well, like I was saying, if you guys wanna, like I was saying, if you guys, if you guys want a job and you get to joke around with buddies all day, make a video. Guys, if you would, hit the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.